You know, you've got incredibly talented players right here in Caitlin and Aaliyah and Lexi, uh, a team that was incredibly fun to watch, very tough to game plan against. So I'm glad I'm going to get to work with you guys, work with you ladies, instead of having to uh, think about how to stop you. Big news. Stephanie White is back in Indiana, and she's ready to shake things up in the WNBA. This isn't just another coaching return. She's here with one goal in mind, championships. No participation trophies, just banners and wins. Indiana basketball is about to see a serious revolution. The future is so bright, and our ultimate goal is to hang another banner in the field house. And our ultimate goal is to, to come back in here after we win that championship and celebrate again like we did in 2012. Stephanie White means business. She's eyeing Kaitlyn Clark and Alia Boston as the future goats, not just in the WNBA, but across the entire sport. High praise, absolutely. This new duo is set to make history, and it's not just a prediction, it's a spoiler. So, before we dive in. When you think about the great point guards and, and, and post players that our game, not just our league, but our game has seen, they are gonna go as the greatest. Let's talk about Stephanie White's big return to Indiana. This isn't just another coaching hire. This is basketball royalty coming back home, and it's a moment to remember. White didn't just stroll back into Indiana. She's woven into the very fabric of the fever. Since day one, she's been everything to this franchise. Player, assistant, head coach. She helped lead them to their 2012 championship as an assistant and, in her first year as head coach in 2015, took them within a single win of another title. She knows the taste of victory, and she's ready for more. At different points, um, you think back and you're like, man, that was pretty cool. That was pretty, it was pretty cool that I got to, to win a national championship in my home state, that I got to be a part of a WNBA championship in my home state, play professionally in my home state, and then be the head coach of my home franchise. That was really pretty cool. All right, let's dive into the major move of Stephanie White's homecoming to Indiana, because this isn't your average coaching hire. We're talking about a legend returning to her roots, and believe me, it's a game changer. White didn't just casually walk back into Indiana. This woman asterisk is asterisk Indiana basketball. From her days as a player to assistant coach and eventually head coach, she's lived and breathed the fever's journey. She led the team to their 2012 championship as an assistant and, in her first year as head coach in 2015, took them back to the finals, missing another title by just one game. She hasn't forgotten the taste of victory, and she's here to finish what she started. But here's where it gets really interesting. While the favor have been rebuilding, White hasn't just been sitting on the sidelines. She's been analyzing every move, every play, and every development as an analyst, studying this team like a hawk. Now she's back, bringing all that knowledge and experience to the court, and she's made her intentions crystal clear. She's here to hang another banner in the fieldhouse, and that's not just talk, it's a warning to the rest of the league. White has high praise for Caitlin Clark and Aliyah Boston, calling them future legends, not only of the WNBA, but of the entire sport. And it's not a guess. It's a prediction grounded in the magic these two bring to the game. Clark's court vision is unreal, making plays that rival the best point guards in the game. Last season, she put up 19.2 points, 8.4 assists, and 5.7 rebounds per game, breaking records and making history as the first rookie all-WNBA first-team player in almost 20 years. Then there's Boston, a force in the paint with 14 points, 8.9 rebounds, and 3.2 assists in her second season. These two have already developed a chemistry that's redefining the pick and roll, turning it into a lethal weapon that other teams struggle to counter. What makes this duo special? It's the way they instinctively know each other's moves. Clark anticipates where Boston will be, and Boston knows exactly how to find Clark. This isn't just skill, it's connection, and it's turning the fever into a serious threat. And White sees it too. She's not just hyping them up, she's declaring that Clark and Boston could go down as the greatest duo in basketball history. Yes, you heard that right, she's talking beyond the WNBA. 
But White isn't just focused on these two stars. She knows building a championship team means surrounding them with the right pieces. Indiana's front office has been positioning itself to attract top talent, making Indiana a hot destination for free agents. White wants players who can fill roles and enhance team chemistry, and she's got her eyes on bringing in that depth. White's strategy, it's all about balance. She's bringing in a high energy offense that'll have defenses scrambling, but she knows defense is where titles are won. Her track record with the Connecticut Sun speaks for itself as she turned them into one of the top defenses in the league. And she's bringing that same intensity to Indiana, setting up a fortress mentality where the Fever can win games even when shots aren't falling. One of White's biggest philosophies is empowering her players. She's all about letting her stars shine, giving players like Clark the freedom to make plays on the fly. She wants the team to read and react, allowing for the beautiful, fluid basketball that only a talent like Clark can orchestrate. Imagine Clark, free to run the show, backed by a team moving seamlessly around her. That's White's vision. So, why are fans and players hyped for White's return? Because she's here to accelerate Indiana's rise, not just continue the rebuild. White has a championship blueprint in mind, and with Clark, Boston, Kelsey Mitchell, and Lexi Hull ready to step up, this FIFA team isn't here to play, they are here to dominate. Free agents are already interested, and Indiana is becoming the go-to destination for players who want to be part of something big. This isn't just about the next season, White is building a dynasty. She's focused on the long game, setting Indiana up to be a powerhouse for years to come. With her expertise, the Clark-Boston duo, and a solid rotation around them, the favor are set to shake up WNBA history. So, brace yourself for the new era of Indiana Fever basketball. Stephanie White's got the matches, Clark and Boston are the dynamite, and this team is ready to explode onto the scene. Get ready, WNBA. The favor revolution has just begun. This isn't just another coaching hire. This is basketball royalty coming back home, and it's a moment to remember. White didn't just stroll back into Indiana, she's woven into the very fabric of the fever. Since day one, she's been everything to this franchise, player, assistant, head coach. She helped lead them to their 2012 championship as an assistant and in her first year as head coach in 2015, and every development as an analyst, studying this team like a hawk. Now she's back, bringing all that knowledge and experience to the court, and she's made her intentions crystal clear. She's here to hang another banner in the fieldhouse, and that's not just talk, it's a warning to the rest of the league.